you enjoyed part one of Luther's Ghostly Fright. Luther has been a cloaked figure that saved them from the cat bats and pumpkins. I can tell you the story now. their presence know. I am Calphon Piccolo. Luther thinks this count has an uncanny appearance to their friend, Little P. Luther presses Calphon Piccolo, but the count waves their flippers about, adamant that they aren't Little P. Luther decides to tell the count what happened. The ghost had trapped Luther in the spooky mirror land. Luther just wants to get back to the Halloween party in time. Count Von Picula has a plan. The Count gives Luther red tipped bat wings which Luther attaches to the back of their bear PJs. With their bats lit by the glow of the mystifying moon, they fly like bats across the bare scraggly trees. The Count is taking Luther to the Time Mansion! After some time, they come across the Time Mansion. A big antique house with a wobbling clock tower, ghost motifs, and a stained glass window featuring the ghost itself. Is Luther ready to face what befalls them in there? Through the red carpeted hallways with walls painted burgundy, Luther observes. The paintings litter each room, lit by green flamed candles wax pulling at the ends. The time mansion is brimming with life. To be continued in part three. Hope you look forward to the conclusion. Bye everyone.